Hey guys and thanks for joining me in this video. Today I'm going to show you a very exciting new foundation and this is Sisley Fitutan Ultra Eclat and this is supposed to be a new improved version of the famous Fitutan Eclat foundation by Sisley. So let's take a closer look at the bottle. The bottle looks very very cute and it's almost the same as the old foundation. I don't know if the old um, Sisley Fitutan Eclat is going to be discontinued and this is going to replace it. I'm not sure if this is going to happen. In this video I'm going to show you how this foundation applies on my skin, I'm going to show you close-ups and I'm going to show you how the foundation looks after nine and a half hours of wear. Actually I've been wearing the foundation today for nine and a half hours so you're going to see a close-up. I've been wearing this foundation for a couple of days before filming this review so I have an idea how the foundation performs and I have to say that I absolutely love it. However, I'm not familiar with the old version of this foundation because I've tried the old one but I had a few samples and I've tried it a long time ago so it was always on my wish list because it was a beautiful foundation. I remember that I really liked it. However, I, I've only tried it from a sample, so I'm not able to compare this to the old foundation, but I'm only going to be talking today about this new foundation. So Sisley advertised this foundation as an improved version of the old Fitutan Eclat, and I have to say that this is a long wearing foundation because I've been wearing it for a couple of days and the performance is quite impressive. I have normal to combination skin um, and I'm quite impressed how this foundation performs. I live in Italy, it's very hot, very humid, and this foundation performs really, really good. So this foundation is one fluid ounce, 30 ml, and it retails for 95 US dollars. So it seems like the formula is improved but also the price is reduced because it's very strange that the old Fee to Ten Eclat foundation retails for 122 US dollars for 30 ml, one fluid ounce again. So it's a little bit strange for me. Of course it's better that the price is lower now but I don't know how to explain that. However, this foundation is really, really good. So let's go ahead and see how this is going to apply. I'm going to apply it on half of my face with fingertips and on the other half of my face, I'm going to use a brush. So this half is going to be with fingertips. I have to shake it well before applying because it's written on the box that you have to shake well. So I'm just going to take some on the back of my hand and let's see the consistency. So this is the consistency of the foundation. As you can see, it's quite runny, but it's not, it's not too liquidy. It's actually quite creamy. I was expecting this to be more liquidy for some reason. And I'm just going to dot this. I'm going to start spreading the foundation with my fingertips on this half of my face. Okay, so I just turned down the light so that you can see better. And I don't like to apply too much, but let's dot here and there. And it's very, very easy to blend. It's very effortlessly. For some reason, I prefer using a brush here to apply this foundation. I don't know why, probably because it's not too liquidy. It's a fluid foundation, however, it's not, it's not too liquidy, it's not too runny, so... It's a liquid foundation, but somehow it feels more creamy and I prefer applying this kind of foundations with a brush. And this is half of my face done with fingertips. As you can see, I have plenty of the foundation left. So you only need a little bit. I wouldn't say that this is a medium coverage foundation, but I would say that it's light to medium. It's definitely buildable. And if you decide to apply this foundation with fingertips, I think it will only take you less than a minute. It really blends effortlessly into the skin and it didn't emphasize my pores which I have around here on the side of my nose. I have some dilated pores. It didn't emphasize them. It just blurred my pores very beautifully, but it didn't emphasize them. I cannot see my pores 
right here. So this is definitely a yes for me. This is something really important. And when I'm testing foundations, I usually look if they settle into those pores. This means that usually this kind of foundation is not going to be great for people who have dilated pores because I only have dilated pores around here on the sides of my nose. Um, otherwise, my whole face doesn't have that m many issues. So let's go ahead and do the other side with a brush. So I'm just going to do a few dots and blend that. And the brush that I'm using is a Sephora Multitasker. And that's it, that's my whole face done. And I have to say that the application of this foundation is a real pleasure. It's so effortless, it's so easy, whether you're using a brush or fingertips, even on the side when I, where I used fingertips, the application is absolutely flawless. It blends like a dream. This, this foundation is amazing in terms of blending. And I really like the fact that it looks like skin. But right now, I am looking at myself in a magnifying mirror and I cannot see that I'm wearing foundation. My skin looks very well moisturized, but it doesn't look like I'm wearing foundation. Like if you're sitting... Um, close to me you will never know that I'm wearing foundation you might be tricked that I just have very beautiful skin very perfect skin but you are not going to see foundation which is something that I absolutely adore hey guys so it's been nine and a half hours since I first applied the foundation I did set the foundation with a little bit of loose powder I used my favorite loose powder by Givenchy and I have to say that I'm sitting right now in front of my magnifying mirror and my foundation looks absolutely gorgeous. I don't see it. It hasn't settled into my pores. It looks, it looks really flawless, which is quite impressive because usually foundations don't behave like that. As a lot of you may know, I live in Italy. It's very, very hot and humid here. It's been 30 degrees Celsius and I've been outside for a few hours today. Um, and right before coming home, I was outside for three hours. So I'm very, very impressed with how the foundation held up. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that the foundation is going to look as flawless. I didn't touch up at all. Please excuse my messy hair, but I'm just coming and I wanted to show you how the foundation looks before I do any touch-ups. But... Yes, I didn't blot my skin, which is quite impressive. So I would say that this foundation is definitely oil-free because by that time I would have touched up my foundation or I would have used blotting paper at least a few times, especially having in mind the really hot and humid weather right now. But the foundation is surviving beautifully. My skin is definitely glowy, you can see, but it's not very glowy. I mean, most people wouldn't even apply powder if they have this glowy complexion and I don't actually feel the need to apply powder. Now I'm gonna zoom in. So and please excuse the bells. It's probably seven o'clock. As you can see, my, my skin looks very, very impressive. Nine and a half hours, no touch-ups, and I'm looking at my skin and I can't see that I'm wearing foundation. The f I, I don't see anything. Even here on the sides of my nose where I have dilated pores, I don't see the foundation. My pores are still blurred and everything looks very, very beautiful. Now, I don't even have those weird sunglasses marks because I was wearing sunglasses today, so I don't even have... Maybe I have a little bit, but I really have to look at that in a magnifying mirror. Um, but it's nothing that you can see if you're sitting in front of me. I did apply a thin layer, though. I can imagine that if you apply 
a thicker layer of this foundation, this will probably not look as good and you will probably need to blot during the day. But I applied a very thin layer all over my face and the result is very, very impressive. I'm really impressed with this foundation. This might actually be one of my my favorite foundations. This might actually become one of my top five foundations. So that was all for today's video. Please let me know in the comments below if you want me to compare this foundation to the other um, Fito Tend Eclat foundation. And I hope to see you in my next video. Please subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot to me if you subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that you can receive notifications when I upload a new video. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!